What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about companions, which companion build you're using the most and which companion build do you uh, prefer? Uh, do you like Miri better? Do you like uh, Bastion better? I mean, you can make them both a tank. I mean, you can make Miri a kind of Night Blade style sap tank with the skill set she has. You can make Bastion a DK style tank. Uh, you can make either one of them a healer. You can make either one of them a DPS. Even though both of them really come kind of equipped with DPS kind of stuff. So you look at Bastion, he's more of a, a DK style DPS when you first unlock him. And Miri is, of course, a Night Blade kind of bow range style DPS. Um, I have unlocked at least one of them on about four or five characters now, mainly Bastion, um, because I've been using him for a lot of solo stuff. Solo world bosses in Blackwood. If I've been soloing any uh, dungeons, I've been going in and soloing a lot of dungeons lately. Been trying a lot of different methods of getting, you know, camp, uh, companion gear for my companion. Of course, been selling some of it as well. But I found that Bastion is very helpful, but I, I won't leave Miri out of it. Uh, the kind of almost pocket healer that you can make with Miri is, is pretty handy. Now I know in solo builds, a lot of people are going to use the Ring of the Pale Order still because the Ring of the Pale Order is still great if you're playing by yourself. So, it, but I, I think it gives you options. I think you can actually go without the Ring of the Pale Order and use a different mythic if you want to use the new Gaze of the Sithis. If you maybe want to run around with a, a solo build that you have that might be a little more tanky, a little more bulky, even on a... a a DPS style character, something you can take a little bit of damage with, but you might want to throw the kilt on so you can have a little bit more DPS with maybe one of your solo builds. Overall, I think they're both great companions. So far, I'm leaning more towards Bastion. I'm really looking forward to get, getting his gear maxed out. I would love to have all purple gear, you know, with Vigorous and, and things like that on it. Uh, that way that I can have a lot of health. You know, maybe there's a couple other traits that I think might could be mixed and matched in there a little bit. I think everyone's still trying to figure out exactly what the best traits are going to be uh, for their companion. And if they can get away with maybe running more than just one trait or two traits, maybe they can actually throw some others in. There's probably some stuff out there that a lot of us still have not figured out yet or thought of yet with the skill set. Because it takes a while to get these things to rank 20. It takes a while to get these things rapports uh, raked up. So it, it's something that's going to be a, a long grind. Uh, ranking companions and, and grinding gear is, is probably one of the I wouldn't say the toughest grinds, but it's definitely one of the longer grinds in the game. It's like some of the stuff we've had in the past, like ranking up a character when you're just grinding levels. That's kind of what it's like when you're grinding compar uh, companion levels. But overall, I'm really curious what you guys have been using your companions for. I have seen a few, a few people using them for DPS. I really haven't felt the need for that yet because all of my DPS characters either have group builds on them or solo builds on them. Most of my DPS characters actually have both. So if I'm out doing stuff by myself, out farming, uh, you know, dungeons of solo, I'll just throw my solo builds on, which has a little bit more survivability. But I have been running around even a little bit with some of my group builds on, trying to see if Miri can keep me alive, trying to see if, you know, if, Tash, uh, if Bastion can, excuse me, tank enough to, you know, where I can survive uh, some stuff within, you know, the game with not really gear that's suited for survivability. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite companion is, what kind of setups you're running on them and why. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.